So this is gonna be a real honest review. <laughs> I weigh 140 pounds. I have over 30 students, one of which is literally twice my size. Simon, thanks for coming, Simon. Anytime, coach. All right, so this thing is $450 Canadian, and I really, really, really recommend this particular body protector. Why? Because I've tried out a few other ones. They don't really protect you that well. I'm not a very big guy, but this one really did protect me. So let's dive into the actual product itself. My number one complaint is that it's completely fabric from inside. So if you sweat in it, the sweat is gonna stay inside it. This is not something you should share. This is not something you should buy for the gym. This is something you should keep for yourself, put your name on it, and don't share it. Because people sweat in it, and if you got eight to nine clients a day, you don't wanna be smelling like other people's sweat. So that's number one. That's my only complaint about this thing. Other than that, the thickness, the width is actually perfect because it's not too thin that I'm feeling the impact of the punches, but it's not too thick that I can't move, right? Like this thing is really light. I'm carrying it with one hand and especially when you tighten it up, right? I can put it on myself. It doesn't take much. Yeah, I'll turn around. I'll be right here. It doesn't take much to tighten it up. It doesn't take much to readjust it, right? And I'm here. I could be moving around with any one of my fighters throwing pads at the same time and catching these punches. If you're gonna be wearing this, especially for somebody bigger than you, I recommend you only let them throw lower body shots, right? So hooks and uppercuts to the body, hooks over here, uppercuts here down the center. Why? Because if someone is throwing a straight right hand to the body or to the chest, especially if you don't time it well as, as the pad man, it will knock your head back. Like there's nothing really that will absorb the punch for you. You know what I mean? Like the weight, the push, you're gonna absorb. It's just, you're not gonna break a rib doing it, right? So you really gotta be on your, you know, you gotta be solid on your feet when you absorb these punches. And one thing I noticed, every time I take a punch to the chest with this thing, it feels like I actually took a punch because it really will knock my head back. Now that I told you about the practicality, let's put it to the test. I got Mike Tyson himself coming right here to my studio to test it out with me. All right, right now for the demonstration with Mike Tyson himself, Hi, I'm Mike Tyson. Watch me beat Peter McNeely on Comcast Cablevision. You're not Mike Tyson. No, sir, I am not. Couldn't come in today. That's fine. So, I'm going to show you what not to do to begin with, and then how to use it. So, number one, try not to absorb punches coming down the center to your chest. And I'll explain why. When you wear something like this, you still have to dip into the punches. You still have to roll into the punches. You don't want to be absorbing the push, because as a trainer, especially if you're doing this, you know, eight, nine hours a day, that's how you end up hurting yourself. You take a, a punch straight down the pipe, it forces you to arch your back, it snaps your head back. You do that a couple of times and eventually you're gonna pull something or you're gonna hurt something. So, what I recommend is you learn to dip into the punches like you would if you were actually boxing and blocking punches. And I'm gonna show you right now why not to, because no matter how, how much I dip into that straight punch coming down the pipe, I'm still gonna be pushed back and I'm st it's still gonna knock my head back. So Simon's gonna throw a straight punch down the center. Again, one more time. All right, that's enough. So, as you can see, my head's being snapped back. My front foot is being knocked off the floor, even though this guy is 100 pounds bigger than me. So this is what not to do. And this is what you should do with the body protector. All right, Simon, I want you to give me a left hook, right hook. Again, one more time. One more time. Time. So obviously I still feel some of the, the impact of the punch, but it's evenly distributed throughout the entire body protector. That's why I like it so much. Um, and as long as you tighten it up properly and you lift it up properly, uh, it, should be, it should be fine. It's been fine for me. It's worked out great. So hooks to the body. I definitely recommend you use this for the hooks to the body. Again, and then finish downstairs. Again. One more time. And up. Two. Three. Now that says. Make sense. <laughs> Again. Pop. Jab right up. Okay. So that's what I was saying. Try not to take punches too high up here. Because there's no way to really absorb it, right? If you're hitting downstairs, at least you can dip into these punches. Upstairs. If you dip into that punch, you're risking that punch landing on your face or at least your neck. So definitely don't recommend taking punches up here. If you're a trainer or if you train very often, I recommend this. If you box once a month and you have a punching bag in your basement, definitely not worth it. Don't buy it. Simon, thanks for coming, brother. Even though you're not Mike Tyson, like, subscribe, 
Uh, check me out on all my shit. Support me. I'm young. I'm a boxer. I know you want to support a young boxer. Whoop. I'm trying to get it all right now.